Welcome back to Catherine Cooks. I'm making a delicious healthy chocolate tart today. So this is keto, paleo, vegan, got lots of healthy fats, really good for you and super delicious dessert. Um, so I'm just going to whiz up the, the base in my food processor first and then I will press it into a tart tin and then I'll bake it in the oven. So I've just put in half a cup of desiccated coconuts that are unsweetened and now I'm just putting in one and a half cups of almond flour into the food processor. Now the recipe in the link below says that you should use monk, monk fruit sweetener um, but I decided to use pitted dates instead so I used about 10 to 12 pitted dates and that will be the sweetness. I also added a little bit of cocoa powder, probably about mm, a tablespoon, um, just to make it a chocolate base. And then I have two tablespoons of coconut oil that's been melted, that's to bind it. So I'll just let that all run in the food processor until it becomes crumbly. And then I just added a little bit of water at the end. Um, just to combine it a little bit so that it would press together. So this is a pretty easy recipe. Um, you can make it all in your food processor and then you know you just bake the base in the oven for about 15 minutes. Um, let that cool and once you've done that you can add the topping on top. So while that base is in the oven cooking I am just making the filling for the chocolate tart. So it kind of tastes like a chocolate mousse filling, but uh, it's made out of avocados and healthy things. So I've just got two avocados in there. Um, I've got half a cup of cocoa powder. I have one teaspoon of vanilla essence, one tablespoon of coconut oil, and a quarter of a cup of maple syrup and I did add a little bit of more maple syrup later on um, just when I wanted it to be a little bit sweeter so just taste that yourself and see to your sweetness so I'm just whizzing that up letting that all combine and then I will scrape down the sides just to make sure it's all thoroughly combined and it's quite a nice moussey texture and it's as easy as that. It tastes super delicious. And you know, you're basically just eating avocados. Um, a little bit of maple syrup. But that's quite a healthy dessert. So I've just taken the base out of the oven until it was golden brown. Then I let it cool and then I put it in the freezer just for 10 minutes to make sure it was really cool. And now I'm just adding the topping, the chocolate mousse topping on top. And you can see a few chunks of avocado in there, but that's all right. It still tastes really nice. Um, so there it is. I'm just going to put that in the fridge now for about an hour just to set properly. Pop that in there. And then here is the finished product. So I put some sliced strawberries on top. Uh, it was delicious. Everyone loved it. Healthy, tasty, fresh really yummy i'll definitely be making this again and here is a slice of the finished product and if you give it a go and make it i hope you enjoy it's really tasty please like and subscribe if you want to see more